wanted to show you today how I use the cork bark planters in my bonsai. Cork bark planters are made from the bark of the cork oak tree. It's peeled off the live trees without hurting the trees at all. In fact, the cork oak tree regrows its bark and we peel it every nine years without ever having to cut a tree down. So it is a completely sustainable resource. That being said, the bark has beautiful fissures in it, and each piece that we peel off is completely unique, truly one of nature's own artworks. Here I have a pairing with a cork bark planter. This is what they consider the tall planter. It's about eight inches tall. I have it paired with a black pine sapling. This has been outside for about three years now. The interesting thing about cork is that it has wonderful properties. One property is that cork is water repellent. And that's how these can survive outside, is because they don't deteriorate very quickly at all. In fact, it probably take many, many years for this cork to actually start to deteriorate. Another wonderful property of cork is that it is a natural insulator. So for use in bonsai, where you have miniature trees and very tiny roots, in winter situations, the actual insulating uh, that the cork bark can do helps the trees to withstand very harsh winter temperatures. I'm going to show you another of my black pine bonsais. So you can see the difference that each planter is completely unique. This is another black pine, also around the same age, about three years old training it into more of a cascade style. Again, this bark has a beautiful almost turn to it there, wonderful cupping out. Um, it's fascinating to shop for these planters uh, and pick out just the right shape that you want uh, for your composition. I'm gonna show you one of my oldest uh, cork bark planters. This is a Chinese elm uh, that I have growing in a cork bark planter. This is what they consider a short planter, so it's about four inches tall. Again, each one is completely unique. Some are very narrow, some are wider. Um, this one's been outside about five, going on six years now. Um, as you can see, the planter itself is in perfect condition. Uh, in fact, I love how the moss here is starting to grow from the pot, from the soil down the pot, giving this wonderful um, natural landscape feel. Uh, it has such a rocky look to it. Um, and it can pair well with so many different types of trees uh, and types of bonsai um, landscapes. One of the other interesting things that I've done with some of my bonsai um, is used cork granules uh, as a uh, bonsai um, component, soil component. Um, the cork granules, again, are so water resistant that they break down incredibly slowly, yet they offer a good amount of uh, aeration, drainage uh, in the soil. They hold a little bit of moisture, but release it because it doesn't soak into um, the planter itself, the uh, substrate itself. Um, it's another alternative to using things like perlite and vermiculite, um, uh, also again, a very lightweight uh, material, the cork granules. I wanted to show you, so this is what the planter looks like 
before it's planted. Um, this is a medium height planter. You can see all the beautiful colorizations that's in there. The planter itself um, comes two ways. They make it with this concrete bottom with a drainage hole. They also make it with a cork bottom. Um, you can see on the bottom here um, how it is uh, attached. Uh, these hold up really well depending on the tree that you have uh, and what you need. The cement bottom really does add some weight uh, to the um, planter itself. So if you have a very tall composition uh, or something very top heavy, the cement base would definitely give you the um, weight that you need to hold things down. I'll show you the other style of planter. Now this is what another planter, this is a short one. This is what they call the primitive planter because instead of the concrete on the bottom, it does have natural cork bark. Now it is glued in, but there's plenty of drainage on here. If you poured water in here, you couldn't really fill it up. It drains really, really fast. Um, my Chinese elm is in a planter like this without the concrete base. And it's held up really, really well over time. Uh, I expect to have many, many, many years um, with it. Just to show you some of the other um, e sizes. Each one is so beautifully unique. Um, you can really spend hours just trying to pick them out and pair them with uh, the different trees. Um, so that's all I have for you today. I just wanted to highlight what we can do with bonsai in a new type of planter um, and change things up a little bit. Um, and give a new different type of creativity.